South America, Brazil, Rio Grande do Norte, Natal. It is in this privileged location where the central campus of the Federal University of Rio Grande do Norte is located. Among its specialized academic units, one that stands out is the Brain Institute. This story began to be written in the 90s when a group of Brazilian neuroscientists that worked abroad dreamt the construction of a cutting-edge research center with focus on the brain. Eu me lembro de falarmos já do Instituto do Cérebro nos idos de 1996, é, num encontro de neurociências em Washington. Eu me encontrei com o professor Cláudio Mello, que na época estava na Universidade de Rockefeller e foi meu orientador, e com o professor Sérgio Neuschwander, que na época estava no Instituto Max Planck, em Frankfurt. Nós nos encontramos em Washington e conversávamos sobre a, a necessidade de construir um instituto novo, é, que pudesse fazer pesquisa de ponta no Brasil. E em 2003, nós lançamos, de fato, essa proposta é, em associação com o professor Miguel Nicoleles, que foi meu orientador de pós-doutorado e que comprou essa ideia e resolveu bancar essa ideia. Pois em 2011, essa parceria é, entre nós e o professor Nicoleles chegou ao fim e nós nos separamos. Então, criamos o Instituto do Cérebro da UFRN, do qual eu fui o primeiro diretor, depois o segundo diretor atualmente sou o vice-diretor. É, mas, na verdade, o que me orgulha mesmo é ser fundador desse instituto, né, porque é um instituto que tem como missão produzir a melhor ciência possível no Brasil atualmente existente, aqui em Natal, no Rio Grande do Norte, com muita clareza de que o único futuro possível para o Brasil é o desenvolvimento tecnológico, científico, com função social. From there on, the Brain Institute has added to its staff 18 principal investigators and counts with the collaboration of 29 technicians and staff members that provides comprehensive support for undergraduate, graduate and postdoctoral students. I'm here since my undergraduation and I performed my scientific initiation here. And uh, it's been a pleasure and a great opportunity to, to be in, a play, in such a place uh, where we can learn so much things and beyond doing high quality science we can also have some impact in the nearby society. When I, when I sought my PhD I started to, to, to learn electrophysiology and, and this, is, uh, this was the, the best place I know. I came here and we have uh, the technology to, to build uh, quality science and we do it here with uh, good people and, and people that are uh, uh, together. So it's a, it's a good way to do science. Among the researchers, some are foreigners, and through the corridors of the Institute, one can hear many different accents. We see our, um, our mission here to not only um, uh, advance neuroscientific research um, uh, at the cutting edge, but also to contribute to the education and formation of young scientists and uh, who will maybe uh, go out into the world and find here a platform to uh, complement their education in that sense that they are now able uh, to speak English, to uh, have enough scientific knowledge to pursue a, a, a further career in science abroad, but also uh, to contribute uh, to the formation and qualification of the local educators. The Brain Institute maintains several collaborations within the UFRN. Among them, initiatives are developed with the departments of physiology, biophysics, biochemistry, computer engineering and electrical engineering, as well as the Institute's digital metropolis and tropical medicine. Within the University Hospital Onofre Lopez is the Functional Neuroimage Laboratory, an example of the positive outcomes of this cooperation with other units of the Federal University. We can collaborate with a lot of specialists as uh, psychiatry, neurology, doing some research with patients and a lot of clinical research. We provide a group of approximately of 40 uh, courses, undergraduate courses, for the students uh, uh, enrolled in the science and technology undergraduate course. So the students, uh, uh, in a way, can shape his own, his or her own uh, 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 curriculum based on a wide variety of uh, uh, disciplines that we, we, we provide for the university. Research in the Institute covers various areas of modern neuroscience, from ion channels to human cognition. Among other topics we study, for example, the mechanisms of vision, communication, sleep and dreams, memory formation, cellular reprogramming, as well as models of neuropsychiatric conditions like autism and epilepsy. 
A broad spectrum of neuroscientific methods is applied, some of them rare in South America. Moreover, the Brain Institute of the UFRN was the first to implement optogenetic techniques in Brazil. Currently, in several places of the world, partners are sharing the knowledge produced in the Brazilian soil. Those who are part of these discoveries are always under the eyes of renowned international institutions. The global vision of cutting-edge science is also transmitted to communities outside the academic environment. This way, the Institute fulfills the important role of stimulating the formation of future generations of neuroscientists. During the whole year, our main activity is doing research and producing scientific information that is published. But the whole, the, the whole idea of extension is first, bringing this information outside of the Institute, going to the streets or to communities to, to, and transform the language to, to make it accessible to, all, to people. And the other idea is bringing people to, uh, to, close to us to learn what are the questions, the demands that the society has that we can help to, to fulfill.